welcome. My name's Baz. This is a new channel, it's called the FARG Motorport, and in it we're going to be looking at all things military. To start off with, let's welcome our friends overseas. Bonjour, willkommen, and howdy. In this series of videos, probably over the next year or so, we're going to be looking at a number of military vehicles to start with. We'll be looking at uniforms, history, some kit and hardware, including weapons, which I know will keep some of you very happy. Okay, so where do we start? We're going to be looking at these sequence of uh, vehicles that will now come up onto the screen. So primarily we'll start with looking at the Hotchkiss M201. We'll then move on to the Panhard AML60. Then we have the Panhard AML90. We will have the AMX 13105. The AMX VTT. And lastly, we will be showing the ongoing restoration of the AMX 13105 Obus, which is a self-propelled gun. In there as well in the mix, we're going to have a look at weapons, semi-automatic and uh, heavy guns as well. As I said, the kit, history, and finally, we'll be going to some of the shows in 2023. So those are the, the public shows uh, put on for their benefit. And I'll show you some living history and the vehicles actually in use. Okay, so for now, a little taster. Let's have a look over here, see what we've got. So here we have the Hotchkiss M201. You will see that it seems very similar to the American uh, Willis Jeep. Uh, you're quite right there. So we'll have a full video on this particular vehicle. The differences between the French Hotchkiss and the Willis. We'll also have a look uh, under the hood here at the engine and we'll be looking at doing our brakes on this and just general maintenance including having some fun off-road. Next down here we have the AA-52. So this is the light machine gun in current use by the French forces. So we'll look at the development of this, how it comes apart, how it works and how these are mounted onto different vehicles. Okay, over here, that's it, up we go. Over here we have the Panhard AML 90. So this is a 90 uh, millimeter gun that we've got here. Again, we're going to look at the story of where did this come from? How did we get it into the UK where we're based? What restoration we've had to do on it? and most importantly, the ongoing maintenance to keep this on the road. You will see this vehicle and the one over there, and including this weapon, at the various shows in and around the UK this year, and we'll be making videos so you can see those if you're unable to attend in person. Okay. Sorry, uh, my cameraman, Ollie, what, what was that? Something for me. Okay, what was, all right. A message, a very important one. Oh yeah, subscribe please, so we can make more of this content. Hi, a couple of more things to add. There's some more vehicles on that list now. We've got the uh, Peugeot P4. We're going to be having a look at the uh, Renault uh, light utility truck and also there's going to be a big reveal in a couple of months where we're bringing a very large and rare piece of armour into the UK. It doesn't exist in any other collections, 
you probably wouldn't have seen it on any other channels. So subscribe, hitting that button, and then you'll know when it's for you to view. Thanks very much for your time. Ta-ta for now. Hello, Baz here again. Bonjour, willkommen, and howdy. What we've got here is the Peugeot 